So this one is a 15 month old who is brought in for vomiting and extreme fussiness after he ate a Tide Pod. So he and his mom were doing some laundry. He was sitting on the floor and as she was transferring the laundry from the washing machine into the dryer, he pulled himself up and grabbed a brightly colored detergent pod off of the washing machine and ate it. So how many people here have used or seen these laundry detergent pods? Yeah, they're, they're pretty brightly colored, they're fun, they're attractive. They've been available in Europe since 2001, but not here until about 2012. And accordingly, in 2012 and 2013, there were over 17,000 calls to the Poison Control Center for exposures to these detergent pods. I do wanna draw your attention to the fact that it was about 6,000 in 2012, and then it jumped up to 11,000 in 2013. So steadily rising. Again, not surprisingly, it's highest among one and two year olds. There have been two reported deaths. 4.4% of kids end up getting admitted to the hospital with 2.4% of those kids going to the ICU. And in this graph of incidents, we can see that we didn't really have anything until they came on the market. And then once they did, bam, tons and tons of cases. So these pods can be poisonous by ingestion, which is the most common way, so swallowing, but also if splashed into the eye or splashed onto the skin. And when they do their job, they easily dissolve when they're exposed to saliva. And they're actually the most commonly ingested household product. These pods make up 70% of detergent ingestions, which actually makes a whole lot of sense, right? They're bright colored, they're small, they look like candy, and it, trying to picture a toddler picking up a container of detergent and trying to drink it, I mean, that's not very feasible, right? These are also the most dangerous because they're so highly concentrated that they can actually burn the mouth of a child. So the symptoms of overdose include vomiting, coughing, rash, drowsiness, and they can even lead to a hole in the esophagus or a perforation. So these are very dangerous. The toxic dose, one pod. So after that increasing incidence, Procter & Gamble, who manufacture Tide Pods, decided to change their packaging up a little bit. So they put a warning that said, do not eat. <laughs> it's very helpful. Um, they also pacified the package so that kids can't see into it, and they put a latch on there. But again, we talked about what child-resistant packaging does. It just slows the kid down. It does not stop the ingestion. So in conclusion, lock these guys up. But honestly, I would say if you have any kids younger than five going into your household, just don't use them. Use regular detergent until the kids get bigger.